Hello and welcome to Mind of Play's Medal of Honor Allied Assault Breakthrough. This is the second part of Monte Cassino. And this is, I think, a very good mission. Not necessarily one of my fav well, I say it is It is sort of one of my favourites, but it's one of those that I don't fully like. And the reason for that is it's just a bit tough. And there's a lot of uh, when it get, uh, finally you're moving around too much. Stop it! I need to be able to shoot you. If you take your time on this mission, you'll be fine. You don't have to rush. You just gotta take your time. Be wary of when they the enemies come out. Some parts. You might just have to redo, so you might have to save and reload. But a sniper rifle or, or rifle does five damage, so you can take five of them before the medic heals you up. I, th I believe that's how it works. Oops. And there's just little parts about some of these missions that I think are really good. It's just little things like that. Obviously, it kind of forces you through. I think it... Yeah, you have to go through here. I'm not missing anybody, am I? Nope. How did... How did I get you in one shot? And obviously try and take him out as much as you can. Is So this isn't the right way. Nope. Might as well take that health. I wonder how quickly... Oh. I wonder how quickly he heals you. Right. Well, you're American and you're British, right? We're just going to switch over to a different weapon. And we don't have any, him anymore. So you can hear the tank. There we are. Now these guys do help out quite a bit. There we are. You must have take as much of this ammo as you can. And use this for cover. You, you don't want to be hiding out in the open you want to be able to you want to be able to get in to where the enemies are but when I say that is kind of get up to them well, didn't work. there we are you, yeah you kind of want to get to where they are but I still be in a hidden area so like um, enemies will appear but I'm still hidden because that way I can actually get to shoot them. And certainly a lot of this is just being able to remember where the enemies are. I I can remember how this mission goes. There's certain... There you are. I knew there's like a church tower. And I know I'm an absolute pain for when it com comes to reloading. Anybody around here? No. Nope. You might as well you must well use your grenades as much as you can. I believe there's someone here. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, thought that would work, but it. I guess it didn't. Right. Where are you? Yeah. Whip. Whip them as much as you can as well. Right. I'm going to be careful of the health. So that's a 50 health. Obviously, I don't. Obviously, I don't need the 50 health. So if I release them and then... Oh. Do I need to actually get you out? Oh, good. Right, now we'll go back up here. If you get... To, basically, I what, I'm, what I did here was I got out before they came down because I can use this as a cover. When they come down the stairs... 
you don't know specifically which of these pillars they're going to hide behind. And so therefore, therefore you, you don't know exactly where they're going to be. Now, hopefully it's not one of these where they keep respawning. I'm going to go up, get rid of these people first. Anybody else? There you are. Wow. Okay. So th I thought that gate was going to... Oh yeah, it's right, it's there. That's where the um, plane dropped a bomb. Right. Unfortunately, I don't think these people come with us. You look, you look very sad. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'm misinterpreting this, but I'm sure those two guys in green are American soldiers and that's a British soldier. So I don't know if that was a deliberately done thing. I don't know if that's... got quite a bit of pistol ammo. I don't know if that's something that is worth... Uh, it, it's something that actually happened. MG42 there. Anybody? <laughs> oh, where are you? Where are you? You're there. Good. It's quite a quick, uh, I say reload. It's quite a quick, um, well, I suppose sort of reload. Don't think anyone appears when you do it this way because it's facing where you came from and then here <laughs> always like doing that so that flat cannon down there or whatever it is a level worker oh forgot what it's called a, not a, a morello is anyone around there I can't see anyone. I think when you get close enough, it actually it actually stops firing, but I can't be too sure. You don't destroy it as soon as you get up. I think it asks you to... I think you can destroy it, but... I'm not going to. Oh, jeez, I'm running a bit low on the old uh, rifle ammo. Well, let's stick, go over to this and quickly turn oh Modelo not Morello oh who's gonna win and that's so confusing I don't know if you saw the hitbox the hitbox said I got hit on the left but that's something that happened oh shoot it's you that's something that happens uh, when you're on some sort of artillery. You get if you get hit from the s on the left side, it makes it look like you got hit from there. Do I need to actually destroy it? Yeah, I do. Right, let's move away. Let's move back. I think could be wrong. Yep. I was going to say that weirdly accurate SMG that can fire that distance, but <laughs> it missed most of it. Ah, SMG. I don't have any more vi uh, rifle grenades. I think I got you. It's a little bit nerve wracking, and there's a part in a bit. Oh, there's a part in a little bit that I am going to have to say because it is probably one of the more difficult parts. Ah, I want to be. I should have got out my sniper. One. Did I get you? No, I didn't get you. Are you going to appear? Okay, maybe not. Let's uh. Oh, hello. Got you. Uh. Ah, I should should not have reloaded then. There we go. There's so many little nerve-wracking moments. Also, that's health there. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to go forward a little bit. Okay. All seems clear. Might as well go back and get this health. I mean, this just brings back so many memories for me, this mission. 
it is definitely one of the more nerve-wracking missions. Oh, rifle. Right, let's take my time to reload. There. I wonder what all of your thoughts are when playing this mission. Did you enjoy that it was a bit of a um, apocalyptic nightmare? I suppose that's one good way of calling it. Also, one of these suddenly open. There you are, that one there. Is that someone there? Yeah, and there we go. It is a bit of an apocalyptic night nightmare in some regards because there's just you, you just don't know what's going to happen and I feel like this is the type of mission that they really needed to capitalize on a bit more ones where you are actually having to use your skills rather than quite a lot of missions in first person shooters where you could just kind of run through just you know shoot people you take a lot of bullets but Imagine playing this on hard. I mean, how how you'd be able to do that? It's it's very tricky unless you do a lot of saving. I have done this on hard. There is a uh, playthrough of it on YouTube, but it's definitely one of the um, more not so fun missions. Right, I'm going to save because here I think it's a, yeah here we are. You. Uh, I, I don't really fully get how you're meant to protect him. Okay, so it's kind of that. You're just getting down to this car. I very rarely, whenever I play this, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever done this first time. God forsaken hellhole. That is definitely one way of describing it. I don't get why you can't just pick up a weapon. Oh. Ah ha ha ha. Right, and. Oh, can I get. Oh, did I. Did I get it? Jeez, okay. Oh, so he, he gets in that vehicle. Right, let's um go this way. There's a part coming up. Soon as well as the end of this mission, that is so tricky. What did I get hurt by? Did I get hurt by that? Oh no, I didn't get hurt, but I certainly it looked like I took damage, but I didn't. So now we have just a little bit of a sniping spree. Well, you just gave away your position. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? There we are. Let's just run back. This is a weird enclave, and I remember thinking, why is there this weird enclave? And I have a feeling it's when you escape later, there's a tank that hides there. I have a feeling that's what it's for. Oh, hello. I mean, playing... Ah, oh, I missed the SMG ammo. It just disapp disappears after a little while. I'm not doing too badly. Yeah, the I, I do like the sniping missions. And I know you're there. Really? Goodbye. The sniping missions are quite fun. And this is why I enjoyed... Um, Sniper Elite and those sort of games. Right. Now, I don't... I want to say there's no more people uh, uh, in this sort of section. But we have this little base. I'm going to save. I'm going to see... Just scout it out a little bit. And... Get you, get the guy further away, and then get 
You hide behind this box. There's someone over there. Wrong weapon. Damn it. Getting low on health. And... Oh. Why can't I... There we are. Good, we've got you. Okay. I think that's it. Obviously, I'm not doing great for health. I believe there's health in there. I'm going to stay away from that Modelo just for the time being. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, hey, hey, uh, it's triggered. I'm... wary. I can't remember what happens. I can't remember if a tank appears because I know that I've got to destroy this door it's just so nerve wracking especially with the, the fog that's there as well there's no health in here what? oh shoot right I'm saving I'm making sure all my weapons are reloaded. I think I'm going to die. So that's us. Wait, one of you coming out? Good. Okay, you can get in. Right, reloading. Next boy. Are you not in? Oh, good. Jeez, I don't like this. I don't know if you're getting in. Where are you? Ah, oh, bugger. Shoot, I really need a health. God damn it. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I Okay, so I need to redo this part. So you can see how frustrating this part is. Right, let's do this part. But this time we'll fight people from here. God, I can feel my heartbeat going. My hands are slightly shaking. Are you going to appear? Good. And then there's you over there. Right. I don't. The thing is, I don't think you have to necessarily just destroy this Modelo. I. Don't, I think. I'm not actually sure what happens uh, if you were to try and if you were to open the door after you destroy the Modelo. I don't actually know what happens there, but if I destroy that, do this, and then okay, I have twice the health, and I'm going to I'm fully reloaded. Yep. Good, you're all alive. And then, good. So the first two seem to be all right. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> oh God, I mean, how are you supposed to do this without quick saving, let alone on hard? Also, it's annoying to go out one at a time. Right, so one of you is now in there, so it's you next. Uh, I think... Okay, I'm on 43 health. This is enough for the time being. Reload, make sure there's no one else around.
Get in, get in. Wait, where are you flying from? Yeah. Oh shoot! Come on, get me, get, get me in. Ah! Oh, I got given a hundred health. Oh my goodness, this is so fr frustrating. So a tank appears there. You don't have to worry about that, Modelo. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, you didn't get that as far. Oh my goodness. How? How you're supposed to do that mission without having a panic attack? Oh my goodness, that is definitely one of the more frustrating parts. So it's, as I say, as I said before, it's kind of one of my favourite in terms. It's one of my favourite in terms of the sort of thing as get they get you to do, but it's not one of my favourite in terms of it. You get very, I get very. Um, panicky <laughs> throughout it get get very worried that i'm not going to be able to complete it so yeah it's uh, definitely one of the more uh panic inducing missions that there are it's still really good don't get me wrong it's still really good in terms of the sort of things you have to do the um the little the little uh side missions you then have to do like rescuing people or the little rooms or the big areas you go to it's definitely a very laid out uh, very well laid out mission and they certainly do a good job of trying to get across i suppose you would say the horror of what it would have been like during that time it's it's just to play it like that is very uh yeah, very panic-inducing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next part.